Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series Bumblebee and this is figure 100 off their Studio Series line so congratulations Hasbro for busting out 100 movie figures. Uh, personally I've never been into figures until this film uh, in terms of the movie line but I enjoyed the film so I'm very very into the figures right now so this plastic free packaging 23 steps big backdrop behind there which is volcano showdown and on there if you're a mint in box collector you want to see the side of this so you can decide how that looks on your shelf and i suspect it looks very very nice if you collect them like that so i'm going to get the figure bumblebee out so we can have a closer look at him Okay, so here is Bumblebee, and I'm not going to lie, he is a very, very small deluxe figure. However, he does look very, very nice. I like the detail on, oh, if I can get that to stay still, on the head sculpt, that looks very, very cool. And just the detail throughout just looks very, very nice. You got this sort of grey, sort of steel work, sort of complementing the yellow. The yellow is... I would have liked it to be a sort of darker yellow. I don't know why. I feel like it would have just been a little bit nicer, perhaps. But he looks he looks pretty decent. Uh, the feet are probably the ugliest part because they got part off the back on there as well. And if we look at the back as well, he's got the great big wings poking out. Uh, and then the weapons just pop on there like so. So you can take them off. Yeah, if I can get them off. Get them off like so. But he does have this little backpack, which I don't think uh, does anything. And you can sort of blend in the wheels at the back of the arms, but that will have its uh, restrictions as such. So I feel like he, I feel like he's a little bit too small in my opinion. I will show him with some of the other. Uh, Autobots and Maximals towards the end, but I feel like he could have been a little bit taller. So articulation wise, the head does go all the way around with a squeeze. Uh, you got that nice little detail in there as well. Just wanted to point that out. But you can see that. Now the arm is going to be restricted. It can go all the way around, but because you've got all this sort of kibble there, you can never get it all the way around unless you are very very careful even just bringing that back is this it's a bit of a squeeze you can lift it up he's got the usual single joint no movement on the hand which can be normal from time to time with transformers he's got rotation all the way around with that waist piece so you can get him into some very very cool poses the leg can go forward like that it can come back but it's restricted by the back piece there it cannot do the whole splits there. It does have a single there. You bring that up quite nicely. And there is lots of movement on the foot. There is a ball joint in there. So you can get a range of motions in there with the feet. Which I think is pretty decent. Now in terms of weapons, he comes with... Apologies. He comes with the sort of the knife, etc. Maybe stroke shield. I don't know what you want to call it. And that just pops on the side and that I feel is pretty cool so you've got that going on and then he has this little blaster which I think is a nice size I, I mean it's got the yellows to sort of blend in maybe it's because um on on the um screen I don't remember I can't remember if his hand actually transforms into the gun and maybe they just wanted it to blend in a little bit with that hand Rather than try and um, rather than try and just keep it all grey, I mean it does. I mean that bit just pops out. It just adds a little bit of colour to it, etc. But that is a very very nice gun. So I'm going to transform him into his alt mode so we can have a closer look at him. Okay, so here is Bumblebee transformed in his alt mode, and I've got to say I do like how this looks. This sort of off road vehicle etc um there is one thing that's bugging me which i suspect has bugged a lot of reviewers it rolls very nicely you can put the weapon at the back personally i think it looks awful so i'm just gonna take that off and you can put the other weapon underneath and everything is sort of hidden under there um 
the frustrating bit for me is that they've not found a better place to put the arms well the uh, the rest of the transformation is absolutely fantastic it goes really really well very very nicely and very well done and then they just thought it's almost like they've gone hmm where the hell do we put the arms and don't get me wrong most most transformers that were transformed over the last few years the arms have gone in here and they've slotted in really nice there's always been a sort of gap whereas this is such a sort of skinny car that room i guess isn't available for it to go in there which is a wee bit disappointing in my opinion uh, the other thing that i forgot to show in the earlier part of my review is uh the backdrop goes there very very nicely very very cool and um, not my thing takes up too much room so i will always probably have that opinion on it here he is next to optimus prime um i feel like okay i always get into the weirdness of their alt modes they're not sort of the right sort of size you know i mean if we bring in rhinox you can see automatically well rhinox is huge is he actually huge compared to a truck no maybe a car i think he would be a similar size but so it's always this this bit of give and take and then we're just bringing air razor just like this just gracefully just to pop in there and they do sit very very well together and i think i mean in the in the film i think right now they were very big alt modes um considering they were meant to be blended in there but where they were in hiding with their trusted allies they um they didn't actually get in the way at all and then we we'll just bring in battle trap as well i feel like battle trap should be bigger than bumblebee because he should be smashing and crashing him etc in my opinion but that is not the case here but you know honestly it's it's really nice bumblebee is a great bot i think um yeah i've seen there have been previous bumblebees that have been better that have been really good apologies i got distracted um yeah so i think there have been previous bumblebees that have been top notch i don't think this one is bad i got this from smith's uh, in my hometown i spent 20 quid on it i think it's worth 20 quid rather than the 25 quid that uh it was being priced up um some of these studio series uh, i mean and transformers in general are a lot more costly these days than what they once were which is a shame because not everybody can afford them uh parents etc um we're we're in a living crisis etc so um as as it said so this ho hobby is a luxury um it's a luxury to me to be able to pick up these things and review them um i don't keep transformers i've i'm lucky that i've managed to keep these for as long as i have i, I suspect i may have to sell them in a few days i have an mot coming up and well cars more important than um my hobby but i did want to generally collect them all and then perhaps let them go but things may be out of my control anyway um i hope you like my video if you do and i'm sorry i've gone on some sort of rant about um money etc but you know the world is the world and that's what we're gonna talk about so anyway if you do like my video if you do um i'd be surprised um please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it um, thank you for watching. Thank you to those that already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you guys a great deal. You make my channel what it is. Uh, make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye. Okay, so just to wrap it up, here he is next to Battle Trap and Optimus Prime. And um, he's not too bad. I would just like just maybe slightly taller. He is maybe just. A little bit too small uh in my opinion also you can definitely see the difference in terms of the the vibrant strong colors on optimus and bow trap that compared to them i feel like they lacked a little bit what bumblebee like maybe they went i feel like the yellow's a little bit too light in my opinion it should have been maybe not as orange as battle trap maybe just a little bit in between um, but perf 
personal preference. Um, I still think he looks great. I still think he fits in really, really nicely. He is an okay size. It's not, like I said, I would have liked him a little bit bigger, but it's not the end of the world um, in terms of how he looks. So, um, yeah, I think, I, you know, I'm glad to have him in my, in my squad. Glad to have him with uh, Optimus in particular, who's got a wonky um, arm there. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've just transformed these. I didn't watch any videos, so I may have mistransformed some of them. Um, I can do that from time to time, but I think I did okay. I feel like I did okay. So there we go. There is Bumblebee, Rise of the Beast Studio Series. Um, grab him while you can, because um, these figures are going out quickly. Um, that's if you like him, of course. Um, if you like my video, do support my channel by subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you to those that are already subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you guys a great deal. Uh, without you, I don't have a channel. I probably do. It's probably just me talking to myself, which I'm doing now. Um, no, I'm not, because you're watching. I'm talking to you. Um, <laughs> make sure you look after yourself and, as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.